like this. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Dry Racing. Today is points race number five because yesterday it was rained out for points race number four. Hopefully we can make that up uh, later in the year, but that's what it is. Cars one is great. Didn't really change much. Um, good first we had last points race where uh, oil pressure switch went out. Got a brand new one in there. Running great. Cars warmed up. I'm ready to go. So let's go ahead and take to the action. change a few days ago we only made a change what was it one or one size one size all, all the way around. around so didn't think it'd be leaned anything. it out yep we knew, we knew it'd lean out but didn't know how much and it is significant the car is fast right now and so yeah we're pretty fast but for some reason i think because of the six summer the different prep it just rained hard, uh, I think a few times since the track's been used. I think the track's a little green, so our 60 foots aren't great. We had a 150, 158.8 and then a 159.5, so it's not great for us. Check back our video, it didn't bobble at all, so it's not an engine problem or anything. But not a great light first pass, so we went to 11.85.9 at 111.6, which uh, for the water grains, the uh, DA, just everything, the humidity, just not good. Drag racing weather for our car. And that's pretty good time. We were expected to be at least at 87, 88 for the weather. And then the second pass, we said it had an 02 light. Really good, right on the money. And we went 11.85.1, one, so we picked up probably because the car was warmer, but 112.09. So we picked up half a mile an hour and looking at something mostly back half the track, which I think is because we leaned out. So definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, yeah, if we had some weather and a little bit of prep, we could set oh. a PB. So yeah, close. Yeah, we could have a 154, 156 like we normally do, and good weather, maybe 1170s <laughs> all day, but we haven't went 112 this year, so that's really good. But because we have two uh, 1185 passes, a high and a low, with dial 1185 again, I don't suspect the 60 foot to pick up, but if it does, uh, if I have a good light, I can lift, get out of it. If, if we are going to go fast, I don't think 1185 is sandbagging, but 100 through two, so it's it's not that big of a deal. So that's where we think we're going to go. That was an hour and 40 minutes about between the last two passes because uh, there's a couple extra classes today. So with lunch break and everything, we'll see, but pretty confident with the dial. All right, guys, going to first round eliminations in the first time in a month, something like that. It's been a while. Uh, I think we realized that the track is green and that's where our 60 foot's have gone. So 
We're not gonna try to force a dial based on what we know we can run. So we're just gonna say 58, 59 is all it's gonna give us today. So that's what we're gonna dial off of. Uh, 11.85 and uh, hope for the best. Of the year, just the track is just green and I think going away. So, hopefully, we're going to buy back, but hopefully, not by next week, and some passes on it, it'll get back to where it was. But yeah, not a great pass for us. We said 400 slow, but we still went 111.8 miles an hour. So, most of the car's wind direction was part of it and track going away. So, guess, uh, we'll try to figure out a dial from there and uh, buy back. wanted to run an 85 didn't it yeah i think it did we have to look at numbers but i went against uh went 37 8 on his 33 i think that's about what he runs for miles an hour 110 8 i'm not 100 sure but so i think his car just ran slow for whatever reason but that's a close race the yeah, lights had, were both good a, and both close yeah 045 to his 036 so yeah i was i don't I had a, I figure out where I was there on that tree, but that, that was it. So we're going up for pairing next. Good job. All right, we're getting paired up with uh, Rosa Palm and the Red Camaro. Uh, I don't know if we got any video coming out, but tough competitor, pretty consistent car. So uh, we'll just do our thing and uh, see you at the end of the track. What'd you dial? 1188. All right. Wait, we think the numbers will work. It'll be fine. Fairly goes planned. 
Um, it was one of those. Well, mo most of the time when you're when you're leaving, and you're like, man, I had a great light, and it turns out to not be a great light. Somehow you're like, wow, I don't know what I did. It felt great. Well, I the moment I left, I knew it was. I, I knew I lost the race as soon as the light went off. I knew it was slow. Uh, I forgot what uh, Mark ran for a light. I had a 155 light. It was terrible. I don't know what I did or if it wasn't ready. Or, I don't think I've ran had that bad of one in competition ever. It just I don't know, but uh, Mark ran a great race. Ran his number. Great light. I think he... I think he um, I think you got out of it. I don't know. It was, the finish was right at the line. But because I broke out pretty bad, the car sped up a lot. Like, kind of half expecting to, but they usually doesn't happen to the semifinals or the finals. So maybe a little early for that, but having a good light could have masked that. But, of course, I did not run or did not have a good light. So We'll be back racing next week, hopefully Saturday and Sunday, because uh, this week Saturday got rained out. So hopefully I'll get that seat time and the rhythm back and uh, hopefully be, uh, be competing for a win. But another news, uh, we're about halfway done. Or halfway three, ripping it out. Halfway ripping it out, if, if, oh. that's, if this even means halfway. But uh, Fiesta's getting the engine pulled and we're going to be diagnosing what went wrong in six summer hopefully think it could be other things now hopefully it is just a broken ring because it sounds like that'd be cheaper than if my whole turbo went out or or you cracked a block or cracked yeah. the head or something yeah so we don't know exactly looking at some things like turbo could have went out but i doubt it i hope that's not the case because a uh, new turbo kit's expensive and even getting one rebuilt not as expensive, but when are you getting it back? Right. Trying to deal. So. It's a good thing the duster is going to sit in the trailer till next week, and we don't have to do anything to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's ready to go race. It's just. Uh, Maybe an oil change. Yeah, we're getting close. We're, we're depending, deciding. Yep. So, hopefully we get some good racing weather next week. It's, it stunk today. The track was really green, so we couldn't get a 60-foot. If we could have 60-footed. The weather would have been at least halfway decent, man. We would have been personal best. The car ran really good today. It did. So I, I had a couple good lights today, but fell asleep in my last race. I don't know what happened, but so we'll, <laughs> we'll get back to it. And uh, I'll have back to back races next week. So get back in the swing of things and uh, have some good points races. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.